on guys nemesis here welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be pushing the 7600 trophies using pekka so please make sure to like and subscribe and without further ado let's get into it okay starting with the first game here against linux oh uh, he's at 7560 so if we win this we get a pretty big amount of trophies so let's focus up for it uh, i got pekka zap royal ghost and fireball let's see what he wants to do here if he doesn't make a play i'll just make a play He's BMing. Um, I don't know why he's BMing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go for Royals in the back here. He's going to go for a Valkyrie. Um, I think he's going to go for a Bandit in the back as well. Just play a little bit passively. See exactly what deck he is. Um, okay, he's going to go for that. I think I'm just going to take the Fireball on this one. Because I don't want to cycle anything else really. Okay. So he's got Valkyrie. Electro Wizard. Um, yeah. I don't know what deck this is. Still, uh, I kind of just want to maybe cycle a zap or something. Okay, he's got okay, so this is uh definitely going to be whatever that deck is. It has like a graveyard freeze or something. I'm only playing this back in the back because he oh gosh, well then, um, yeah, I don't know what to say to that. Okay, that was actually pretty solid defense. That was actually really solid defense. Uh, that was like the best thing I could have done, to be honest. Okay, and this is a pretty good counter push as well. So let's see what he wants to do for this. I got Fireball. He doesn't have Inferno Dragon anymore. Okay, I'm going to go for Battle Ram opposite lane here. Because he, he has to deal with like a full healthy P.E.K.K.A. on the other side. I'm just going to pressure with the Battle Ram as well. And I'm just going to try to overwhelm him. Actually, I'm going to take the Zap. Okay, um, okay, we get a lot of damage there. Uh, let's see here. Okay, that's a lot of damage, and let's see what happens. Uh, we're gonna be chilling here. Like I said, I got I can't really like pressure him if he has bowler in hand. If he has bowler in hand, then it's kind of like um bad to play into him. So yeah, let's see here. I'm just gonna go for pack opposite lane here. And I'm just gonna go for a battle run to protect a little bit. Okay, perfect. He's gonna play that. Uh, Magic Archer should clean up the Inferno Dragon. Okay, unless he does a play like that. This is whatever. Oh my gosh, it actually hits. Um, let's see here. I think I'm going to go for... Okay, I'm going to go for this right here. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for Magic Archer in the middle. Let's see what he wants to do for it. Yeah, he's going to do that play. Pretty... <clears throat> uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go for Bandit over here. I'm gonna go for Battle Ram over here because he's gonna wanna like pressure me or something. Okay, yep. I'm gonna go like this. Uh, let's see what he wants to do here. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for a P.E.K.K.A. right here. I'm gonna go for a Bandit as well. I'm going to go for a uh, zap on top of this thing. Okay. Oh my gosh, this guy has so much elixir. <laughs> I'm going to go for a battle ram right here. And we got to keep doing a lot of dueling pushing because it's the only way we're going to break through this guy. We're going to pack up the bridge. It's a pretty solid play. Uh... We're going to go for a bandit over here, just to kind of DPS that thing down. We're going to go for a magic archer over here. Uh, magic archer is doing a lot of work, actually. It's pretty solid for us. Uh, let's see. Okay, it does get a shot on the tower, which is pretty nice. We're going to go for Roy Ghost in the middle. We're going to go for a fireball over here. We're just going to keep the pressure up. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Uh, we're going to go for a, I think, a P.E.K.K.A. right here. We're going to go for, I think, a Zap plus a Fireball for his, okay. Uh, this is getting kind of scary, like I said. But I'm trying not to throw this game. Okay, this is not good. Hold on. I'm going to go for a um, Royal Ghost over here. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm kind of trying to focus up real quick. Just trying to put the pressure on right now so he can't make a graveyard push is essentially what I'm trying to do right now. 
And I think we got the game in the bag, if I'm not mistaken. And that's game. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I wasn't talking too much. Very close game. Like I said, I had to do a lot of dual lane pushing and stuff like that because he had Bowler, Electro Wizard. And wow, what a game. Let's go for the next one. Okay, so we've got our next game here against Ace I Farid from Power of A's. Got Bandits, uh, Battle Ram, Rogue Ghost. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go for a Zap plus a Ghost on top of this thing just to not take too much damage. So it's gonna be Log Bait. So um, if you guys wanna know how to take care of Log Bait, this is gonna pretty much show you. I'm just gonna go for a Bandit just to play a little bit passively right now. He might go for a Princess or something. I didn't want to go for a Pekka because he's probably going to Princess in front of that and I'm going to take a lot of- Oh, wait, what the heck? Um, okay, um, yeah, I was not expecting that to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Magic Archer in the back because he just used Fireball. If he goes for a Princess opposite lane, what the heck? Okay, um, Fireball and Arrows. He was- okay, so this isn't- this ain't even Log Bait anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I was not expecting this kind of deck. I don't even want to go in just yet because I know he has like a um, probably Inferno Tower. He most likely has an Inferno Tower, so. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go for Pekka now though because he's going to have to respond to this kind of weird. Okay, so there you go. There's the Valkyrie. Um, so it's essentially a 3 elixir Pekka. If he goes for a Barrel, I'm just going to go for Electro Wizard all to the side or something. You know what? He actually may not even have something good for this, so I'm just going to ban it right now. Uh, yeah, exactly. So he didn't have anything good. We're going to go for a Magic Archer here. And yeah, if he goes for a fireball, uh, mm, I'm going to go opposite lane because he's going to have to deal with both sides. As opposed to if I go for a battle ram in um, both lanes or in the same lane, he, he could just get like a lot of fireball value. So yeah, that's why. So I'm pretty much just getting free magic archer damage. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm just going to go for what goes in the back potentially. All right. I'm gonna go for Electro Wizard here. Okay, I was not expecting the Hog Rider as well. This is such a strange deck. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up the back now. Um, because why not? It's kind of the only thing I can do. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we're just gonna make a really big push now. Yeah, let's see. I think I'm gonna go for a Bandit over here. I'm gonna go for a Battle Ram plus a Ghost because he doesn't have the best of answers and he played that Inferno Tower really low. I'm gonna go for a Fireball. Uh, let's see here. Perfect, perfect. I can't really do anything to that, uh, honestly. So, yeah. I think I'm going to go for a bandit in the back here. Play a little bit passively right now. Okay, he's going to do that. I'm going to go for a P.E.K.K.A. in the back again. Just kind of um, repeat the process a little bit. He okay, just used that again, actually. Um, and he just did the same thing again. He's playing his Inferno Towers low because he doesn't want me to get Magic Archer value. I'm going to go for a fireball right here. Really good fireball. Uh, let's see here. I got... Okay. Oh, okay, there it is. There's that. Okay. Okay. This is actually not good. So we're going to go for Magic Archer right now. That's the DPS that thing down. And we're going to go in. We're going to go for a bandit over here. We got Zap for a skeleton army if he plays it. Right there. Okay, he's going to do that. Hmm. I think we're just going to go for another Pekka in the back. Okay, we're going to go for a Pekka right here. And right, let's see what he wants to do here. He's going to do it again. He's just going to play low, low tile. I'm just going to go for Magic Archer in the middle still. Just in case. I'm going to go for a band in the back here. I'm going to go for a better I'm over here. I'm going to go for a Royal Ghost. Okay, we're just going to go for another Pekka right here. This is getting really close. This is a pretty hard matchup, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to go for a Magic Archer right here. I'm going to take the Zap on top of that. I'm going to go for a... Um, I'm just going to keep the pressure up at this point. Um, it's the only thing I can do. I'm going to go for a... Um, do that. Do this. Take a zap on top of that. 
And I think that should be game. Oh my gosh. Woo. Very, very close game. Very hard matchup. I hate how he's playing those Inferno Towers kind of low, so I couldn't Magic Archer snipe him. But at the same time, it's pretty nice because um, he wasn't able to cut my Battle Ram because of it. So let's go for hopefully the final match. Okay, so we got our next game here against Naldo. We got Bandit, Fireball, Zap, and Ghost. Let's see what he wants to do here. Okay, he's gonna go for a Bats in the back. I'm just gonna go for a Bandit in the back. This could be anything like Mortar Bait. Uh, okay. Okay, I think this is Mortar Bait actually. Or this could be like Minor Wall Breakers, which I kind of hope for more because. All right. Hmm. Let's see what he wants to do here. I'm gonna go for Magic Archer right here. I really have, don't have anything good for this. Oh, let's see here. I'm actually gonna go for a peck at the bridge because um, he may not have a good good cycle or anything. I'm gonna go for a fireball immediately, like that. Okay, he's got Pekka. Okay, he's got Pekka. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, I was really hoping that I wouldn't get a shot on the pack or on the bandit. I was trying to like time that perfectly. I don't even think I could have. Um, let's go for a royal ghost on top of this. So he's got Pekka, like I said. Um, pretty interesting to be honest. And uh, see what he wants to do here. Okay, he's gonna do that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take a zap on that top of that just a cycle, and pr I'm pretty sure that'll take down the bandit as well. Yeah, it does. I know he's got bad stuff, so I gotta watch out for that. Okay, he's just gonna cycle that. I'm just gonna play a little bit passive right now. I don't really want to cycle anything. I don't know if he revealed the fireball earlier. Um, I'm just gonna go for magic archer in the middle. And if he minors this, he minors this. It's totally fine. Okay, he's got poison. Okay, so there's just like a, a pack a deck. Mm. See what he wants to do. If he goes for like a uh, miner, I'm just gonna go for Pekka again. Okay, I'm just gonna go for Pekka right now. Just Pekka that. And see what he wants to do. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go for a battle ram over here. Just to make a really big dueling push then. I'm go for a fireball. Okay, he's gonna go for a um that. I'm just gonna reset actually. He's gonna reset and go for another peck on the back. And let's see what he wants to do. Looks like I got a little bit of elixir advantage. So I'm gonna use that up right now. I'm gonna go for another ghost plus a uh, battle ramp push. Where's this E was at? Where's this E was at? Okay, there's the E was. I'm gonna go for magic archer in the middle. Mm. I don't even know if that was the best E was to be honest. I, sh I think it could have just like a. I gotta cycle this. Let's see what he wants to do here. Okay, he's gonna do that. I'm gonna go for a peck over here. And let's see. I'm gonna go for a battle room over here. I'm gonna go for a magic archer on top of this E Wiz. I'm gonna go for a bandit over here. Okay, um, not looking the best to be honest. But uh, see what we can do. I'm gonna use this ghost for his miner if he does it. I'm gonna go for this pekka right here. I'm gonna go for a zap on top of this. Okay, I think we're gonna have to eat this damage over here. Fortunately, oh my gosh, this guy's like, I've never seen a deck like this. Okay, I'm just gonna go in opposite lane here. I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna sell out as much as I can at this point. Because it's kind of the only thing I have to do. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. We're just going to keep the pressure up. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> what a game. Honestly, that guy was playing really well. He had like a really good control deck with his Pekka. And uh, like I said, he, he thought I was going to play the Bandit on the other side with the Battle Ramp. So he kind of predicted that, I think. So he only hit the uh, Battle Ramp, but I went opposite lane and just... Pretty much just sold out because I think that was the only thing I could have done. Otherwise, I would have just lost at the end. So, uh, yeah, 7,600 trophies right there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more videos in the future.